Nairu, non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment. This is the unemployment rate where inflation remains stable. So take up two cases. Say for example, unemployment goes below Nairu. Means unemployment is lower. Companies cannot find enough workers. Everyone is already employed. So what will companies do? They will have to raise wages to attract these workers. And higher wages are going to increase the production costs. When production costs are going to increase, firms are going to increase the prices. When prices will increase, it means inflation is going to happen. On the other hand, if unemployment goes above nine, there are plenty of workers who are available. Because there is oversupply of unemployed workers, they cannot demand very high wages. They have low bargaining power. So wages are going to rise very slowly. When wages are rising slowly, production costs are also increasing slowly. Price increases will also slow down and inflation is going to fall. So policy makers are going to keep actual unemployment close to Nairu. If unemployment is below Nairu, there is a risk of inflation. If unemployment is above Nairu, there is a risk of high unemployment and loss in output. So Nairu is that level of unemployment which is going to keep inflation stable. And this is not zero because there are both Frictional unemployment and structural unemployment which are present. Frictional unemployment is that people are taking some time to switch between jobs. Structural unemployment is skills of workers are not matching with the jobs. So Nairu is that just right unemployment rate which is low enough for jobs means most people who want job can get that in a reasonable time and it is high enough to keep inflation steady.